What is going on? This is Altone, and today, today is the day. This is the day I'm gonna do it. We're gonna take the FT Wonder Glider and try to put a motor, put the electronics on it, and actually use these um, control surfaces in the rear to make a motorized plane. So right now I have all the electronics. I actually picked these electronics up from Amazon. I'll make sure I put a link down in the description of the ones that I'm using. And I have a battery. This is a 2S, a 5500 2S battery, which I believe is going to be the perfect battery. It's going to fit well in here. Hopefully, because this system, this electronic system should run off of 2S and 3S. So if I have to upgrade to a 3S battery to make sure it has a little bit more power, then I can possibly do that. But we're going to try to run this off of 2S. And the electronic system that I have here, uh, the, the electronic kit that I, that I have here actually came with your motor. It comes with a 30 amp ESC and this motor is a 2212 um, 1400 kV motor brushless of course your ESC it actually has a Dean's plug connect connector on it and then we have two in the kit it came with two 9 gram servos so I'll be using these for the elevator and the rudder then we have our props these are some pretty long props they're EP8 uh, 80 60 props four inch props not a whole lot to it it's a 40 a four inch prop that we're going to be using at some point i may um, design landing gear for it so for and for this particular plane what i'm using for the receiver is the radio master r84 which is a four channel receiver we only need three channels for this for this plane so that's going to be perfect for us to use and one of the other things that I did, which currently should fit, I've actually 3D printed some uh, motor mounts. Uh, this motor mount is actually one that I downloaded and it's made for the Mighty Minis from Flight Test. I believe it should fit in the fuselage of the, of the glider, but I also have a couple of larger ones in case I need to do so. Uh, in case I need to use them and with the motor mount that it comes with this one will work so we're going to take a look and see which one of these is actually going to work if you are going to 3d print these I would suggest taking them and having them print face down instead of print like this so you don't have so you're not using up as much filament and these are being these are printed from PLA so we'll see how that works out if you do not have a 3D printer, I've got a little baby 3D printer that I use to print this with, you can always get a very thin piece of plywood and cut it to the right size to be used as the firewall to mount your motor to. You want something solid to put it on so that you can mount your motor and have a good surface. So if you do, and you will, you're gonna go down nose first when you land. If you happen to crash it, at least this should be able to handle some, some abuse and not cause your motor to be, be crushed into the foam, into your foam plane. You know the FT glider comes with five different kits. I've given one away and I built one. So I should have three more kits in there that I can use. I'm trying to figure out the best way of sharing this experience with you. So I'm gonna time lapse through the, through the basic build of the FT Wonder Glider. But I plan on highlighting some areas as I try to get the balance and try to figure out the best way to mount the firewall and the electronics in it. I, I have some additional foam board that I can use to make a no, uh, to rebuild the nose to mount these two if I need to, but we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. So it is the next day and we are back. And this is what we've come up with so far. I've actually did, I did build out my other glider, FT glider, and um, I've actually created, I used this whole front part, I, I created a, a power pod and I actually have the, um, the SC is routed here with the wires coming back into the fuselage of the glider. I have my control surfaces actually functioning. I did actually get those functioning perfectly. We are in glued down my servos and everything is set. So everything is level. So all we have to do is at this point, Make sure that we have the balance correct. She is balancing a little bit forward or front heavy right now. So I'm gonna make some adjustments. I mean, not a little bit, a lot at this point. 
So I need to make some adjustments. That's the reason why I created this power pod the way I did to wrap around the front of the fuselage so that I could use that to adjust the angle back and forth. And then I can slide it back, trim some off of the fuselage, which I cut the nose completely off the fuselage and move it back a little bit and leave room for the battery to install and have the ESC underneath and I can push the ESC back in order to get the balance proper. So, and I'm running the cables through the bottom. So we've got air coming in through here. Air also can come into, uh, into where I have the firewall and the motor set and it can go all the way through. And I have the mode, I have the, the prop on because I'm not, I don't have it powered. When I get ready to work on it again, I'm gonna go ahead and take the prop back off. Right now, I'm using this rubber band to hold it together. I think I'm gonna use the, uh, the skewers in order to hold this power pod in place as long as I can do so without interfering with the placement of the battery. Um, but if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue, hot glue it on. So if I do have any issues or I need to get to anything, I'm going to have to basically take it apart. So I'll make sure that I have everything placed in place so I don't have those types of issues. Hopefully, we'll get this guy done and I'll share, that, I'll share the completion with you in the next video as well as, if I can, I'll also be sharing the maiden flight of it. So we're going to make sure she's got enough power um, from this prop to be able to handle the weight, the additional weight that I'm adding to this foam plane. And we're flying off a of 2S. So hopefully it works out um, very well. So thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that this has been somewhat informative and entertaining to you. Um, I'm looking forward to really getting this completed. So thanks again. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again in a future video.